Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about the architecture of the One World Trade Center using the LEGO New York architecture set, custom LEGO models, and images I found on the internet. We will start from the foundation of the building and go up to the needle of the building. If you take a look at the blueprints of the building, you can split up the building into three parts foundation, the main body, and the spire at the top. Let's start with the main foundation. The foundation of the One World Train Center is a concrete and steel hybrid. They use a combination of steel and concrete to build the foundation of the building. In the hybrid concrete and steel structure, steel masonry is combined with concrete masonry. Concrete blocks are connected with steel frames and then using latches, the concrete and the steel frames are connected. This gives an overall strong structure. Since the concrete is connected to the steel latches and frames, if one part of the concrete moves, then another part won't move because of how heavy the bricks are, which will increase the stability of the structure. I can't show you this in the Lego structure, but I can show it to you in this picture. Since the building is so tall, approximately 1,776 feet, it needs a really thick support. By this, I mean since the tower is so big, the concrete foundation must be deep down so that the tower won't fall. For example, if the foundation was only one foot deep, the tower would fall during the construction of the building. This is because the tower would give more strain than the foundation could handle foundation could start to break and it wouldn't be good for the life of the building. If the foundation was, for example, 80 inches, which is how deep the foundation of the One World Trade Center is, then the building would be perfectly fine. This is because of the amount of concrete that can support the structure, unlike the little one foot of concrete we were talking about before. Also, another factor we could add is the center of gravity. If your center of gravity is low, like it would be if you had a heavy foundation, the building has a lower chance of falling than a building that has a center of gravity in the middle. This is because if your center of gravity is in the middle, then it would be easier for, it, for the building to be pushed over. After all, less force needs to be exerted unlike if you had a low center of gravity. If you had a low center of gravity, then it would be harder for the building to fall because you would have to push the whole building from the bottom, which is heavier and harder. Next, we can move onto the body of the building. The body was also made with concrete and steel as the main structure. They started by adding steel columns for basic support. Then, since the building is hybrid steel and concrete, they added concrete to the steel so that it becomes stronger. They accomplished this design by closely spacing the steel columns and using the concrete to retain the forces of gravity. During the construction of the main body of the building, scaffolding was installed so workers could progress up the building when they finished one layer. The scaffolding would be a set of legs that is connected to a platform. In between these legs, triangular patterns would be added to increase their stability so that you wouldn't fall off the building. Finally, let's talk about the spire on top of the building. It all, it all starts with a steel base. The base is used as the center of the spire and gives it support for shaking and other things like that. Then, other things were added like fiberglass and aluminum to create the outside of the spire. Since the spire is so, since the spire is so tall, approximately 408 feet, it can't really stand on its own and on the sides of the top of the main body of the building, there are four slots for cables. On, these, on each corner, these cables are connected to the spire, giving it support from each side. The cables are made of metal, and they are really thick, so they can stand a lot of movement. The cables are also attached to rings at the top of the building for even more support. Now, we've talked about the One World Trade Center and how it's built. If you guys like the content that I make here on this channel, then please consider subscribing by making that red sub button into a gray one, liking and turning on notifications. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!